Welcome to the heart of Colombia, a hidden gem where stunning landscapes meet an incredibly low cost of living. In this video, we explore a country undergoing a remarkable transformation, where cities like Medellin are emerging from their notorious pasts to become cultural and tourist hotspots. Imagine living comfortably on a budget where a lavish meal costs just $3 and luxury accommodations are available for $35 a night. Join us as we uncover how this South American treasure combines its rich cultural heritage with its growing reputation as a safe, affordable haven for expatriates and tourists. Whether you're considering a move or just seeking adventure in an uncharted paradise, Colombia's story is one you won't want to miss. Stretching over 1,142,000 square kilometers, five times larger than neighboring Ecuador, Colombia is a land of incredible diversity and breathtaking beauty. With a population of 52 million, it offers a vibrant mix of landscapes where the north meets the Caribbean Sea and the west touches the Pacific Ocean. Colombia also borders Panama to the north, Ecuador to the south, and Venezuela to the east. Its expansive territory features numerous rivers that enrich its fertile land. While the northern and western parts of Colombia are densely populated, the southeastern and southern regions are covered by the Amazon rainforest, home to a few isolated indigenous tribes. Colombia is now the second most populous country in South America, following Brazil. Take Medellin, located north of the capital Bogota and nestled in the heart of Colombia. Once notorious for its association with Pablo Escobar, Medellin has undergone a dramatic transformation. Today, its skyline, filled with high-rise buildings across a 382-square-kilometer area, might remind you of Hong Kong, reflecting a bustling population of nearly 3 million. This change marks a stark contrast to the city's reputation from about 30 years ago, when it was labeled the world's most dangerous city. Although some slum areas remain, organized crime's influence has waned, allowing Medellin to blossom into a vibrant urban center. Medellin has shifted from being dominated by cartels to becoming one of Colombia's top tourist attractions. Many visitors make a point of stopping by Pablo Escobar's grave. Escobar, who founded the infamous Medellin cartel, has been immortalized in numerous global TV shows and movies. His reign ended with his elimination by U.S.-backed agents, prompting Medellin and Colombia to quickly revamp their image. This transformation is striking, areas once considered dangerous are now bustling with tourists. Medellin is adorned with lively street art and graffiti, particularly in Comuna 13, a district that has become a central and highly photographed part of the city. Medellin not only showcases cultural renewal but also offers visitors the chance to engage with locals in their daily lives. Colombia's warm climate leads residents to frequent the bustling shopping malls for a break from the heat. The city's lively atmosphere extends to its fairs, attracting international tourists. A key attraction is the extreme devaluation of the Colombian peso, which makes the city incredibly affordable. With the official exchange rate at around 4,100 pesos to the dollar, you can enjoy a hearty meal for just 12,000 pesos, about $3, and luxury stays are available for around $35 per night. This affordability makes Medellin an enticing destination for those seeking a mix of adventure, culture, and value. In Medellin and Bogota, the economic reality for locals starkly contrasts with the tourist experience. The average monthly income is about $300, just above the minimum wage. This disparity means tourists enjoy low prices and comfortable living, while locals face a tougher daily life. Colombia's Uber system offers an affordable travel option around Medellin at about $3 per ride, avoiding the congestion of public transport. Traditional yellow taxis are often more expensive, and many Colombians prefer motorcycles over cars due to high vehicle ownership costs. Consequently, savings are minimal, with most income going towards basic necessities. Despite high unemployment and a low-cost lifestyle, Colombia's vibrant city centers are alive with energy. Shop owners face the challenge of Colombia's hot and humid weather due to its equatorial location. The intense sunlight contributes to the country's heat. Visitors in cities like Medellin should be cautious of pickpocketing, which is common. 
many tourists carry only the cash they need, leaving their wallets behind. Police presence is noticeable even during the day, and street performers are a frequent sight in Medellin. At red lights, dancers entertain between cars, and others wash windshields for small earnings, a tough way to make a living. Medellin's vibrant nightlife is a defining feature, with streets alive until late. Colombia is known for its sociable, outgoing locals who embrace Latin dances, offering endless entertainment and opportunities to connect with friendly people. When visiting, you'll find plenty of fun and opportunities to make new friends. Colombia is celebrated as one of the most joyous and entertaining destinations globally. The social culture is open and welcoming, approach a local with a friendly attitude, and you're likely to be met with a smile and maybe even a new acquaintance. For those who love authentic interactions, dancing with Colombians is essential. The country's passion for Latin dances fosters connections among people, and the music and dancing that go on until early morning embody the lively Colombian spirit of celebration and community. You might have experienced various forms of entertainment around the world, but nothing compares to the unique joy found in Colombia. Start with Bogota, the vibrant capital with 7 million residents and a picturesque cityscape highlighted by cable cars weaving overhead. Perched at 2,650 meters above sea level and encircled by mountains, Bogota, like Medellin, cherishes its street art. Its central location makes it one of the most inland areas in Colombia, and the city exudes a more metropolitan vibe compared to Medellin. Bogota is the epicenter of Colombia's business activities and a major hub for higher education. However, it also houses Santa Fe Street, known for its high crime rate and illegal activities. Despite these challenges, Bogota's dynamic atmosphere and rich cultural fabric offer a captivating blend of experiences for both locals and visitors. But Colombia offers more than just affordable dining and vibrant nightlife. Consider the village of Guatapi, just a two-hour drive from Medellin. It feels like a slice of Norway in South America, with its lush green landscape where mountains meet lakes. This village is famous for a colossal rock formation believed to have formed millions of years ago. Today, visitors flock to climb the rock, generating income through ticket sales. The surrounding lake, while looking natural, was actually created by humans in the 1970s when the area was flooded to build a dam for generating electricity. Guatapi and similar villages are also known for their lively local markets where making music is as integral as commerce, adding to Colombia's diverse charm. Colombia's local markets present even more intriguing sights. Some locals eat alligator heads and unusual types of fish said to come from the Amazon. Many Colombians, unable to afford factory-made cigarettes, smoke hand-rolled tobacco sold by vendors at lower prices. Despite their warm hospitality, especially in rural areas, dietary choices are often driven by necessity. It's not unusual to find live turtles ready to be grilled or exotic items like worms at these markets. These peculiar foods often reflect economic hardship, providing a stark view of survival and poverty's impact in these communities. On the other hand, Colombia is home to a natural wonder, the river with striking red waters nestled in the Amazon forests. Known as the five-colored river, this unique phenomenon is due to a rare red plant that thrives in its waters, found nowhere else on earth. Discovered in 1969, the river's vivid hues captivate visitors with its otherworldly beauty. Adding to Colombia's allure is Santa Cruz del Ilote, a tiny island isolated in the sea. This unique geographical feature contributes to Colombia's diverse and surprising tapestry, challenging the curious and adventurous to explore its natural and cultural treasures. Santa Cruz del Ilote epitomizes independence and self-governance. With no formal municipality, the 200 residents manage their own affairs and set their own rules. The island lacks a police presence and medical facilities, forcing residents to rely on self-treatment or make a lengthy trip to the mainland for care. It also lacks conventional stores, supermarkets, or chain shops, preserving a lifestyle free from commercial franchises. The only accommodation for visitors is a single hostel, 
and tourists are limited to a 10-day stay as per local customs. Fishing is the primary livelihood, sustaining the island's economy and diet. Technologically, the island isn't completely isolated. Each family has a radio and a generator for electricity, though these are considered luxuries rather than essentials. Despite its challenges, Santa Cruz del Ilote highlights the resilience and resourcefulness of its inhabitants, offering a unique glimpse into a different aspect of Colombian culture and its diverse ways of life. Overall, Colombia is where modernity meets tradition, and stunning landscapes coexist with rich cultural practices. From bustling cities to tranquil villages, and from extraordinary natural wonders to unique local customs, Colombia offers a rich tapestry of experiences for those willing to explore. Its affordability, vibrant culture, and captivating scenery make it an appealing destination for adventurers and travelers. Whether you're drawn to urban excitement or natural retreats, Colombia promises discovery and wonder at every turn.